Hi, this is Jason with Vatrix, and today we're going to cover the Hydro Data Management software. To get started, we're going to open a file that was previously recorded on a Vatrix ETG with pressure and ambient temperature. To do this, I'm going to hit the Open File button. And I'm going to navigate to Documents. I'm going to pull up a short test. You notice it's a .dat extension. So here is a live data logging file. We have the traditional Windows menu up top. On the bottom, you see the legend. So we have blue is pressure, green is ambient temperature. And if we had RTD, it'd be a purple. Uh, the log start and end time, total lapse time, the min and max pressure, alarm settings, and then the test window. Up top right, you have the recording of the device used, the range, and the session name. So under File, I can open from here. I can save. I can export PDF and other options. Job info. So we're going to create a cover sheet for this file. We're going to call this test. Now, it will remember what you entered in. So I'm going to pull up some information so things go quickly. All right, so I just created a cover sheet. Now, I can preview that cover sheet. I can also choose uh, my own standard custom cover sheet if I had one. Um, so if you had one that was existing in your company, you could use that. So let's preview it, what I just created. So it's pretty easy to create cover sheets for your test reports. Test window. So a test window, you notice in the graph, I have two bars. So I can move the test window. As you notice, the min and max pressure uh, changes and also the test window setting. So if you wanted to hone in on a certain part of the test, you could do that. So if you were doing some uh, preliminary tests, spike tests or something up front, and you wanted to concentrate on just the middle section, you could do that. I can do that to do um, the graph, or I can also do that through a separate window with time and date. I can hide it and it goes away. Same thing with alarms. I could set alarms. I can drag and drop the min and max pressure, and that'll tell you the settings. As you see in the bottom, it does correspond. I can do the same thing. I can set them in the separate windows with the actual pressure, high and low. So if I was a certain band that I had to maintain, I could set that alarm. I could also hide those. Data, if I wanted to show the points taken during the test, it'll show that on the graph, or I can preview the entire data set. Each sample has the date and time. In this case, we had pressure and ambient. Up top, it tells you the total number of pages. Notes. A neat feature that we added was the ability to add notes. So I can say, uh, so I can include a date and time stamp. So this would basically replace any handwritten notes that you had, or you could enter them digitally. I can save it. It creates a number, and I can put that anywhere on the graph. I can add another note really quick. And put that on the graph. So the notes will show up on the report. I can preview the note page, and this will show up when you create the report, including the graph. Sign-off sheet, so 
Traditionally, you have the auditor and a test witness sign off on the sheet. So this creates that sign off sheet. You can even use your uh, own custom one if you wanted to. Um, graph. So we can preview this graph as far as how it's going to print out. I can also print the graph in 8.5 by 11A4 or 11 by 17. Report. So let's preview the entire report. Automatically assigns page numbers to it with a unique ID. So the report number has a unique ID, including the test date, the actual test when it was performed, and then the print date. So if you printed this again, it'll actually track that. So we can scroll down. We'll see the note page. That's page four. And then we'll have the sign off page on page five. I could change units. So if I recorded in uh, degree C or wanted to change from degrees F to degree C or PSI to another unit, I could do that as well. I can save the whole report as a PDF. And then I can email that out and print it as well. So this is just a short tutorial on the Batrix Hydro Data Management software. It can be used with any uh, Vatrix gauge, whether it's doing pressure and pressure and temperature, uh, it's $300 and gives you a lot of power to create professional reports. Any questions, feedback, let us know. Thanks for tuning in.